insomnia, the silent enemy of millions. Let's start with a condition familiar to many, insomnia. This isn't just a few difficult nights due to work stress or too much coffee. Insomnia is a real, persistent disorder affecting up to 35% of adults worldwide. Imagine that. For every three people you meet, one could be struggling with it every single night. Interestingly, women are 40% more likely to develop it. Scientists believe that hormonal fluctuations during the menstrual cycle, pregnancy, and menopause play a significant role, making women sleep more fragile. But insomnia does more than just sap your energy for the next day. It's a silent enemy, eroding your health from the inside. It's closely linked to mental health issues like anxiety and depression, creating a vicious cycle that's hard to escape. You're anxious, so you can't sleep, and because you can't sleep, you become even more anxious. Even more dangerously, chronic insomnia is a risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. When you don't get enough sleep, your body doesn't have time to perform crucial repair processes, including regulating blood pressure and reducing inflammation. So what's the solution? Many people turn to sleeping pills, and in fact, melatonin use in the U.S. doubled between 2005 and 2022. However, the most effective and sustainable treatment today isn't a pill. It's Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Insomnia, or CBTI. This therapy helps you identify and change the negative thoughts and behaviors you have about sleep, re-establishing a healthy relationship with your bed. It's like retraining your brain to sleep properly, addressing the root of the problem. Sleep apnea, the silent suffocation. Do you know someone who snores loudly? Snoring is often dismissed or even becomes a family joke, but it can be a warning sign of a much more dangerous condition, sleep apnea. A shocking 2019 study in The Lancet estimated that 936 million people worldwide are affected by this condition. That's nearly the population of Europe and North America combined. The most common form is obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA. Imagine this. As you sleep, the muscles in your throat relax too much, causing your airway to collapse and become blocked. You stop breathing for a few seconds or even up to a minute. Your brain, realizing the dangerous drop in oxygen, sends an emergency signal to briefly jolt you awake so you can breathe again. This can happen hundreds of nights without you having any memory of it the next morning. Each of these pauses in breathing is a shock to your system, especially your cardiovascular system. It causes a sudden spike in blood pressure and heart rate. Over the long term, this is a direct path to stroke, chronic hypertension, and heart failure. The most alarming part, a staggering 85% of cases go undiagnosed. Hundreds of millions of people are living with a ticking time bomb inside their bodies without knowing it. They just feel tired and groggy during the day, blaming it on a stressful job or getting older. Fortunately, there is a highly effective treatment. The CPAP machine, first introduced in 1981, is still the frontline therapy. It works by delivering a steady stream of air through a mask, creating positive pressure that keeps your airway open while you sleep. It might look a bit cumbersome, but for people with sleep apnea, it is truly a life-saving device. Narcolepsy, the irresistible sleep attack. Imagine you're in an important meeting, driving a car, or laughing with friends, and then, boom, you're suddenly asleep. This isn't laziness. This is the reality for people with narcolepsy. It's a relatively rare neurological disorder, affecting about one in every 2,000 people. But for those who have it, it completely disrupts their lives. The core issue in narcolepsy is the brain's inability to regulate the sleep-wake cycle normally. Specifically, it causes a person to enter the REM stage of sleep, the dream stage, suddenly, even from a state of wakefulness. One of the most characteristic and frightening symptoms of narcolepsy is cataplexy. This is a sudden loss of muscle tone, causing the body to go limp. The strange part is that it's often triggered by strong emotions like laughter, excitement, anger, or surprise. You could be roaring with laughter at a funny story and suddenly your knees buckle or your head slumps forward uncontrollably. Because of these unusual symptoms, narcolepsy is often misdiagnosed as other conditions like epilepsy due to the sudden collapses or depression due to the constant fatigue and social withdrawal. For many years, treatment options were limited, but in 2019, the FDA approved a new medication called Wachix. 
Pitolisant. This was a major step forward, offering a new mechanism of action and new hope for the narcolepsy community, helping them stay more awake during the day and regain control of their lives. Restless Leg Syndrome, the unyielding urge to move. Have you ever felt a strange, creeping sensation deep in your legs while trying to relax in the evening? An indescribable, overwhelming urge to move, stretch, or walk around? If so, you may have experienced restless leg syndrome. This condition affects 7 to 10% of U.S. adults. It's not a typical muscle cramp. Sufferers describe it as a crawling, itching, or fizzing feeling deep inside their calves, an urge that is only temporarily relieved by movement. The name restless legs perfectly describes its nature. The uncomfortable sensations typically worsen in the evening or at night when the body is at rest, making falling asleep an agonizing ordeal. One of the most common triggers that can cause or worsen RLS is an iron deficiency. Iron plays a crucial role in producing dopamine, a neurotransmitter that helps control muscle movement. When iron levels in the brain are low, the dopamine system can be disrupted, leading to these unwanted sensations. The syndrome is also more common in women and often appears or intensifies during pregnancy, likely due to hormonal changes and increased iron demands. Interestingly, this is not a new disease. Descriptions of similar symptoms have been found in medical texts dating as far back as the 1600s. Sir Thomas Willis wrote of an unceasing agitation of the limbs that prevented his patients from sleeping. It shows that humans have been struggling with this for a very long time. Parasomnias, strange behaviors in the night. Now we enter a more bizarre and sometimes frightening realm. Parasomnias is a group of sleep disorders characterized by abnormal behaviors or experiences that occur while falling asleep, during sleep, or in the transition between sleep stages. Common parasomnias include sleepwalking, night terrors, which often involve a blood-curdling scream and intense fear, and even sexomnia, which is engaging in sexual acts while asleep. It sounds like something out of a horror movie, doesn't it? These phenomena are very common in children whose brains are still developing, but they are not rare in adults. The main triggers that can set off a parasomnia episode include extreme stress, severe sleep deprivation, or the use of alcohol and certain medications. What's concerning is that sleepwalkers don't just wander around aimlessly. They can perform highly complex and dangerous actions without any conscious awareness. There are documented cases of people cooking, driving a car, leaving the house, or even acting violently to defend themselves when someone tries to wake them up. And here's a stunning detail. In extremely rare cases, sleepwalking has been used as a legal defense in criminal trials. Lawyers have argued that the defendant was acting in an unconscious state and therefore could not be held responsible for their actions. It's a fascinating and complex area of law and medicine, showing just how thin the line between consciousness and unconsciousness can be. Circadian Rhythm Disorders when the body clock is wrong. Inside each of us is a sophisticated biological clock, known as the circadian rhythm, which governs our 24-hour sleep-wake cycle. But what happens when this internal clock is out of sync with the outside world? This is when circadian rhythm disorders occur. A prime example is delayed sleep phase disorder, which is very common in teenagers. Their biological clocks are naturally shifted later, making them feel sleepy only around 1 or 2 a.m. and wanting to sleep until noon. This isn't laziness, it's biology. Forcing them to wake up early for school is as difficult as it would be for most adults to wake up at 3 a.m. Another familiar experience is jet lag. When you fly across multiple time zones, your body clock remains on your old home time while your environment is on a new schedule. Your body needs time to reset, a process that can last from two to as many as 11 days, depending on the number of time zones crossed. But perhaps the most serious issue related to circadian rhythms is shift work. Constantly changing work hours, especially working night shifts, forces the body to fight against its natural rhythm. The situation is so serious that in 2007, the World Health Organization, or WHO, classified shift work as probably carcinogenic to humans due to this prolonged biological disruption. Fortunately, we can help reset our clocks. Light therapy, which involves exposure to bright light at specific times of the day, is one of the most effective ways to help the biological clock get back on track. REM sleep behavior disorder, or RBD. 
acting out your dreams. During normal REM sleep, your brain is highly active. This is when you dream. To protect you from physically acting out your dreams, your brain sends signals to temporarily paralyze most of your muscles. This is a safety mechanism. But in people with RBD, or REM sleep behavior disorder, this safety mechanism fails. Their muscles are not paralyzed. As a result, they literally act out their dreams. They might shout, talk, punch, kick, flail their arms, or even jump out of bed, all while sound asleep. This is not only dangerous for the person with RBD who can fall and get injured, but also for their bed partner. The disorder mostly affects men over the age of 50 and was officially identified as a distinct disorder in 1986. But the most concerning aspect of RBD is not the nighttime behavior itself. It is considered one of the strongest predictors of neurodegenerative diseases. Studies show that a very high percentage of people diagnosed with RBD will later develop Parkinson's disease or Lewy body dementia. It's like a window into the future health of the brain. Currently, treatment focuses on melatonin and clonazepam to help reduce these violent sleep behaviors. Sleep paralysis, the conscious terror. This is perhaps one of the most terrifying experiences a person can have, sleep paralysis. About 8% of the general population will experience it at least once. Imagine this, you are waking up or falling asleep. Your mind is awake. You are aware of your surroundings, your room, the sounds, the light. But there's one problem. Your body is still in the state of muscle paralysis from REM sleep. You can open your eyes, but you cannot move. You cannot speak. You cannot scream. You are trapped inside your own body. That feeling of helplessness and panic is bad enough. But sleep paralysis is often accompanied by extremely vivid and terrifying hallucinations. People commonly report seeing a dark, menacing figure in the room, feeling a heavy pressure on their chest, making it hard to breathe, or hearing sinister voices. These hallucinations, combined with the paralysis, create an experience of pure terror. In many cultures, this was explained as demons or supernatural entities. Sleep paralysis is more common in people with narcolepsy and in those who are severely sleep-deprived. Medically speaking, it is not harmful. It only lasts for a few seconds to a few minutes. But the deep sense of dread it leaves behind is profound. The best advice if it happens is to try to stay calm and focus on moving a small body part, like a finger or a toe, which can help break the state. Hypersomnia, when sleep isn't refreshing. In complete contrast to insomnia, we have hypersomnia. This isn't just feeling sleepy after a late night. It is a condition of excessive daytime sleepiness despite getting a full seven to nine hours of sleep or even more at night. The sleep is not refreshing and the person constantly feels groggy as if their brain is in a fog. A particularly rare and strange form is Klein-Levin syndrome, KLS, also known as Sleeping Beauty Syndrome. Individuals with KLS experience recurring episodes of extreme sleepiness. They can sleep for most of the day and night, sometimes for days, weeks, or even months on end, waking only to eat or use the bathroom. Between episodes, they are completely normal. The causes of hypersomnia are not fully understood, but it has been linked to trauma, infections, and autoimmune issues. Because the main symptom is fatigue and low energy, it is often misdiagnosed as depression, leading to incorrect treatment and prolonged suffering for the patient. Snoring, the annoying and warning sound. Let's return to an extremely common phenomenon, snoring. About 25% of adults, or one in four, snore regularly. It happens when the flow of air through the throat is partially blocked, causing the soft tissues to vibrate and create sound. Did you know how loud snoring can get? Some snores have been recorded at over 70 decibels. For comparison, that's as loud as a vacuum cleaner running right next to your ear. It's no surprise that studies show bed partners of heavy snorers lose nearly one hour of sleep per night. This can lead to resentment and strain in a relationship. 
But beyond being an annoyance, as we mentioned with sleep apnea, loud and intermittent snoring can be a critical warning sign of that medical condition. For simple snoring, not linked to apnea, a few things can help. Losing weight can reduce fatty tissue in the throat, and sleeping on your side instead of your back helps keep the airway open. Sleep and longevity. Quality over quantity. Finally, after looking at 10 specific disorders, let's zoom out to the bigger picture, the relationship between sleep and longevity. Scientists worldwide agree that for adults, the optimal amount of sleep is between seven and nine hours per night. This range is associated with the best health outcomes and the lowest mortality risk. Sleep deprivation has serious consequences. Sleeping less than six hours a night increases the risk of death from all causes by 13%. A major UK study in 2021 also found that poor sleep quality in midlife can increase the risk of developing dementia by 30%. When you sleep, your brain engages in a cleanup process, removing toxic proteins that can build up and cause diseases like Alzheimer's. Sleep deprivation disrupts this vital process. But interestingly, sleeping too much isn't good either. Large epidemiological studies show that people who consistently sleep more than 9 or 10 hours a night also have a higher risk of health problems, including stroke and heart disease. And the most important takeaway is this. Sleep quality matters more than quantity. You can be in bed for 8 hours, but if your sleep is fragmented and not deep, you will still wake up tired. Quality sleep means cycling through all the sleep stages, from light sleep to deep sleep and REM without interruption.